Come apart and rest a while. It was what we had put on the little dépliant that we gave to people coming on retreat. Sometimes they were. It was a joy to be given the ministry of looking after these guests, for each was coming for a grace, and the first grace oftentimes passes in that case through the human contact initially. <coughs> People need to be warmly received. They need to be positively received and be given the understanding that they are important, that their soul matters. And one can orientate them to a time apart. The peace of the place actually helped a lot. For the peace of nature spoke to the heart already. It was good to be able to invite them to take the scriptures to find a quiet spot in nature and there to sit under a tree and listen to the word away from noise. It is a help if one has a place where there is no traffic. Indeed coming from Rome in days of study, of ordination, back to the silence of the monastery, one was hit by the tingle of silence in the air. Perfect silence, at night especially in nature, no traffic. And that is what people were coming from oftentimes. So there was healing in a beautiful place. We need not to be enslaved to the rhythm of life that we have created. Coming apart and allowing the Lord to come into that liberated space. Well, I like Elijah, whose feast actually it would have been yesterday especially in the Eastern Church, has a great reverence for him, where one can hear the still small voice. That is to be reclaimed. And what better day is there than the day of the Lord, the Sunday, for that to happen? Again, we have allowed the rhythm of life to take over even the Sunday. This minimalism that has crept in, fulfilling a duty and then getting on to the essential, even anticipating that duty on a Saturday evening to have a free day without God in practice, is ruinous for the Christian soul. It is the inbuilt retreat of the week, the Sunday, the day of the Lord. We are a Sunday people as Pope John Paul II insisted. The rest. Indeed, in Wales, when the child, it was still very much in the air, there was a sacrality about the hours of the day of the Lord. One didn't do that day things that one did on other days. The family too is important, and if sport, is more important than the family. Even on the human level, we are losing out to a new God. The capacity to come apart depends on us to some extent. What is important to us? Do we have to have access to the whole world? Social media, television, all this clutter comes into the mind and takes it over. Come apart can now take very modern forms, translate, 
switch off. Sacramento. 